you're scared to do something or you're not sure and you're not certain because you don't know what the outcome is going to be, I'm going to tell you to stop fucking thinking that way. Start thinking of what is coming in to your brain, into your mind, that vision that you see, even if it's crazy, even if it's scary, even if it's uncertain, um, and do it. Just full throttle, go through it, do it, manifest that shit, don't look back and keep on going. Because the thing is, is that that is what's going to segregate you from the rest of this world out there. Happy Friday, everybody. So I am coming on here. Today is day three, and I am doing seven days of skin health tips and tricks just to teach you guys a little something about skin and uh, what to do to stop the aging process. But I did want to post on here a little bit this morning. Um, I went in to get a coffee this morning and I love almond milk cappuccinos. Those are my thing. And it makes such a difference if you just look at somebody and smile and wish them a happy day. It makes a world of a difference with people, and I think we all really need to start focusing on just being a good person and just saying hi. Um, but anyway, I wanted to go over a little tip for today. So the last two days, the first day I went over moisturizers and how they're harming your skin. Um, the second one, I went over how you need to be cleaning your skin. And I also wanted to address that because I got a couple DMs from guys about, well, what about their skin? Well, their skin necessarily is the same with cleaning it. You should always do it once in the morning. I say once to twice at night for a man. Um, but today I want to go over sunscreen. Now, I know I kind of beat this to death on a lot of my social media platforms about sunscreen, but sunscreen is huge, you guys, and people don't understand. You can go to like the store, grocery store, or whatever, and you can buy um, sunscreen, and you think, okay, it's great because it's 40, 50 sunproof, it's going to help me. Well, you don't seem to understand that a lot of sunscreen that is out on the market is only UVB protection. Now, UVB protection will only protect you from getting a sunburn. Now, you don't want to get a sunburn at all because um, it definitely can lead, you know, to cancer cells, things like that, um, DNA damage, um, your molecules changing in your skin, or your cells changing in your skin, things like that. But I really wanted to go over that UVB is you don't want something with just a UVB. You want something with a UVA and a UVB. The reason why UVA is what is going to help you for your anti-aging properties and your wrinkles, sun damage, spots, all of it. When you think of UVA, that is the rays that hit you that actually will age you. They will cause wrinkles, pigmentation, they will cause, um, they will cause like little moles in your skin, skin tags, things like that. Think of your skin almost like a potato. You know how potatoes um, start growing random shit on them as they get older? It's the same concept. So when you have that sun exposure and you're not using a proper UVA uh, sunscreen, you'll start forming a lot of that stuff. So UVA also will come in from your laptop, it will come in from the lights, it will come in from your phone. A lot of people do not understand that you can get the radiation from other things rather than just sun. So UVA and UVB is crucial. Now, going back with your sunscreens and what you should be having, you need something. I don't go with a chemical sunscreen too much. Now for my body, I will go with a chemical sunscreen, but for my face, neck, and chest, absolutely not. The reason why is they have high amounts of chemicals in there. Well, your body is absorbing that. If you can find something that you can put all over your body, 
that is a UVA, you're going to be spending a lot more money that is not um, a chemical base. So within my products, and you can get other ones on the market, there's a couple other ones that are on the market that are incredible, but you want something over, I say, a, they say 5%, for me, I say 8% of titanium or zinc oxide because that is actually going to do the UVA and the UVB. Um, my sunscreen is a 13% titanium dioxide, but it is made with a mineral. So you don't have that cakey feeling, that whiteness, that goopy when you put it on. It's very nice, creamy, and it feels fabulous, especially for men. You guys really, really like this one because um, it's not greasy whatsoever and it just glides right onto your skin. And that is made with a mineral, so you do not have the chemicals in there. It is an actual mineral, mineral based, and it is a 13%, which is literally unheard of. You can usually only get ones that are 8%. Now, you do not need 8% on titanium and zinc. One or the other has to be over 8%, and then I'm a happy camper for you. So that is my rundown for today. I'm sorry that it was long and maybe possibly boring, but to me, it fucking intrigues me majorly. So with that, have a fabulous Friday, you guys, and um, I will talk to you tomorrow.